because mothers and sons have such kind of strong bonds, even if the relationship can be a little bit kind of tumultuous. I wondered if you guys could talk about when you first met and kind of establishing that kind of connection, if you were awarded time to sort of get to know each other before starting the show. Whoa, we, we didn't right have any time it. at all. No. I mean, I think Oliver, I, I remember there was one meeting where he said, like, come and meet a bunch of people. And we, and, and there was like- It was like, the whole cast. It was the whole cast. Yeah, it was the- But I don't think we, I think we barely said hello to know, each other because there was so much going on. So no, it was all, it just happened. As we happen on yeah, as we work. Yeah. I mean, as an audience member, audience member, there's something so fun about stepping into this world and the kind of costumes, the language, the grandiose kind of kind of environment that we sort of step into. How is it as an actor? Does it feel like one really big playtime when you're on a set like this and in a in a show like this? I mean, it, it, look, hard work, definitely. You know, we I feel like we filmed in all of the the seasons. It was snowing. It was um, cold, yeah. yeah, I was hanging around on a on a noose for <laughs> the snow, which yeah. was which was grueling. But like. Look, there's no greater gift as an actor to be able to um, jump into amazing costume and, you know, work in these stately homes and incredible locations. I mean, it really helps, you know, uh, manifest all the characterization. Yeah, and, everything. and it should feel like fun. Yeah. I mean, it's, I always say, you know, it should feel there, there's something that's innately pleasurable about what we do. Yeah. You know, we're we're where you are playing, you're telling a story. And and the fact that we get to do it, I think it's such a, an extraordinary level where you have the help of all of these great artists around you, you know, costumes and set decorations and other actors. And it's, it's uh, tremendously pleasurable. Yeah, in terms of having kind of great people to lean on, I don't mean to make you blush, Julianne, but Nicholas, I mean, you couldn't have asked for a, a better kind of colleague in this instance. I, and so I, I always know, I always <laughs> wonder how Julie must feel. Uh, I mean, sort of saying all these wonderful <laughs> compliments. You know, uh, she's nice. like slowly um, to a twisting away from me. No, no, I mean, it, it was, it was, yeah, it, it made, um, it made the scenes, you know, so so much fun, so so easy to perform, and 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 you know, Julie's so un unpredictable with what she brings to the table, and I, you really feel like you have to improve upon your choices when 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 you're with her, and I think that's an incredibly exciting prospect as an actor. I know, of course, this is a rather kind of extreme version of it, but the kind of lengths Mary goes to for kind of power, and there's a lot of kind of is there a lot of relatability, albeit kind of in kind of lesser terms, but especially for parents, that kind of motherly, quite survival instinct, and to, to sort of do what's best for and to help sort of find resolutions, I suppose, for your family. I think on a positive, in a positive sense, yes. I think that she is someone who's very driven to take care of herself and to take care of her four children. And when she's left destitute and with no opportunity, she very quickly finds another husband. She finds someone who will pay to send her son to France, mm. you know, because she believes that that's a way forward for him. So, you know, historically, she did place all of her children quite successfully. They all did very, very well. And like somebody's saying, we're right across the street from Villiers Street mm -hmm. right here. Um, on, on the other hand... Um, I think, you know, you, you hope that a parent is, as a parent, you're going to do what you can to support your children, but then also not, not be, not make them so codependent with you <laughs> that they can't leave. Mm -hmm. yeah. So is that why Villiers Street, is it named after? George. Yeah. Oh, George's George. boy. I'd yeah. never heard of Villiers before. I, I was quite new to this. Right, right. Yeah. But I, I find the quality, because I thought this is such a great show, and I find the quality of TV so exciting at the moment. I think we sort of take for granted how big kind of sort of traditional Hollywood stars are now kind of doing kind of TV. Um, and then you get directors like Oliver, who of course, who's got great kind of credits already to his yeah. name. How much of a rise, especially for you, Julian, have you seen in the kind of television in terms of like, of it, when I was growing up, it felt a little bit like there was TV uh, actors and then film actors. And it now feels like this is kind of amalgamation. Have you found, noticed there's been more more opportunities, more stories, and more roles now coming from, from both directions. Oh my gosh, absolutely. I mean, I think that we were much more compartmentalized um, before. And now, as our viewing habits have changed, and I think certainly, I think really it's the internet that changed everything yeah. and streaming, yeah. that suddenly there's all this opportunity elsewhere. And so, you know, people are looking at things n not, I don't necessarily uh, recommend it, on their phones, <laughs> you yeah. know, but but there are many, many ways to um, to kind of ingest these stories. And so, yeah, there has been a tremendous rise in, in, in stuff available. And just very funny because I, I can't not ask about because I'm a huge Pedro Almodovar enthusiast yeah. and I know and I adore that man's work. Yeah. And I might be wrong here, but I read that that starts shooting as soon as like next it week. Does, it you does, must be so excited to be working with him because he's one of those directors. I yeah. guess if you had like a wish list, you wouldn't necessarily put him on there because we weren't ever to know he'd make a kind of English language film. So he was always on my yeah. wish list, and I actually have been been hoping that something like this would happen. And and when I when he emailed me, I I was. 
I, I just said, I said to my, my husband, you'll never believe what I just, listen, look at this email I just got. I mean, out of the blue, just so I, um, the moment I saw his work, um, I was blown away by his point of view, you know, so I can't believe I actually get to work with him now. So amazing. I was in a lift of him once and I was like, it's Pedro's He's cool. <laughs> very yeah. cool. So just yeah. very quickly then, Nicholas, who's on the top of your wish list before I go? Oh, be God. <laughs> um, I mean, I love Denis Villeneuve. I, um, I love Andrea Arnold. Um, I mean, there's just there's so many incredibly exciting young filmmakers who are just coming up. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd love to keep working with with Oliver as well. You know, I think his his viewpoint is, is so unique, and um, I think it, it's a really exciting time for you know some of the filmmakers I've been able to meet in the last um, few months and the prospect of working with them. So I'm, I'm very open. Yeah. I like that idea of people actually having wish lists written down yeah. at home <laughs> or just like on their fridge. You know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank guys. you, mate. Cheers. Appreciate Bye. it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey.